like a different things here. But Franco, like what Arashi mentioned it earlier, it's Ferencren and there you go. They lock it already, Arashi. It's wow. gonna be Franco. It's gonna be a Franco and a Minsithar and mm. it seems like... Lisley Benedetta, oh! I, I Ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight to it. Game number one between oh Cambodia and Malaysia. And as we suspected, it's, it's a Franco in the jungle from Chiku. What in the world is going on? Wow. Wow, okay. I, I guess with Malaysia, it is what it is. It there's is what it is. There's <laughs> no point being surprised anymore. But now, the look at that already. Yeah. Hi, actually trying to make a bit of a bit of a distraction, but he might just get punished. Chiku and Yum's going in aggressively, and Tai will be able to dash away on that Rafaela. But unfortunately, it does seem like Yum's is going to be attacked by Deja. But everyone backs away. It's just all good. But Tai will be recalling, and that will be Malaysia. Just having a lot of pressure in the early game. But I think the concern here for Chiku on that Franco is the, the farming. Because with that Bounty Hunter emblem, he's gambling on actually getting very fewer camps and mm -hmm. actually ganking a lot more. It fits the Malaysian playstyle, but we'll have to see if Cambodia has an answer. Yeah, let's see. It's quite, uh, you know, maybe a little bit tricky here because they will bring that uh, Franco jungler. It's new for me, I, to be honest, but I really like, like that pin, uh, Minsitar pick here. So we will see what will Malaysia do with this Franco jungler. But Dija will come and try to clear the minion as, as soon as possible. And for me, I think he can still try to clear the top lane without any concern that coming from the uh, Cambodia team here and Boom still able to let the passive playstyle coming from Formis here because Formis seems need to get the level 4 first. Right, with level 4 Formis becomes a completely different hero. He does have the combo with the Petrify and the Electro Final Blow but for now it just seems like it's a very wave management, wave heavy Situation, but look at that fight. Chico guys getting bursted down. First blood picked up by Deja on that new hero on the joy, but that will be Moon trading back a kill. The turtle though gets stolen in the middle of everything by Lutu and the Malaysians. They want vengeance. They keep going in, and Humes is chasing down. Boom, boom gets taken down, and then everyone else follows suit. That's a double kill for Yums and the Malaysians. Okay. Assert their dominance. Wow, and uh, let's see. Malaysia, they still able to get. The third kill here, especially for Yums, right? With the, that two kill. This is what I see from Deja. Now, is he still level one? No, he. I think he has. Oh, it's level four. Okay, so it's exactly. This hero is just so mobile, Whoop. and there's so much burst potential. You don't really notice it, but the small amounts of crowd control compare uh, combined with the dashes, it's just completely annoying to deal with. And in that mid lane, look at that wave clear. That just gives the Cambodians a lot more wave clear to play around with. But of course, against two hooks from the Malaysians, it might be a bit too dangerous for them to not watch where they are going to move. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Yums, I think it's kind of important for, uh, you know, Ooh. his presence. And Momo needs to flick out because he saw three members in the bottom lane trying to punish her and giving a pressure since the early game. We talk about this lately, right? So the Malaysian composition actually they are trying to play into the mid until the late game composition because they need sometimes. Ooh. But meanwhile, we talk about that OP has been, you know, doing his homework. Doing his homework and getting that kill. Momo gets taken out and the Malaysians are on that back foot. Deja on this joy, that pressure allows them to actually play so aggressively and secure a turret at the bottom side. Formace has rotated to try and alleviate some of this pressure, but it's clear that the Malaysians are struggling to keep up. It's a okay. tough situation for them for sure, especially because yeah. all these very aggressive early game heroes with a lot of wave clear, the Beatrix, the Joy, the Lapu Lapu even, there's yeah. a lot of tools in the hands of the Cambodians they to only, manipulate these waves. They only have this Benedetta if they want to play uh, the rhythm in the, in the early game actually. And for me it's not enough because we know Benedetta still need some item maybe on War X or maybe some uh, the Bloodlust X for the life steal here. So it's some time as well for Formis. So I think Malaysia, they will try to be, uh, play a little bit passive here. Uh, until the minute number six or seven, until uh, at least Momo got his Berserker Fury. 
Or but maybe Blade of Despair. Well, we say that they will play passive, but they were the ones who initially got the abundance in kills. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to see. I think these turtle situations are where things get a bit confusing because sometimes which team prioritizes the turtle might just get caught off guard. And that seems to be the approach that a lot of these aggressive teams have been taking. You can take the early turtle, but then we'll take two or three members and it will still be worth it that way, especially if they can translate that man advantage into a turret objective. But for now, both teams are just waiting around, but Cambodia are the ones that seem to be wanting to orchestrate dives. Okay, and now two members in the top lane here. Yum still able to survive. The King's calling oh. up, but Opie got a lot of time and space as well. Look at that, the electrifying bits open up from uh, Deja, but the cover-up coming from Malaysia. Look at dream member Chiku, guys, trying to hold up a little bit and look at the dual manipulation really on time. In the perfect timing, they got Lutu, but not really, really, maybe an, a lot of advantage for Malaysia. They get Lutu, but they lose their top lane turret in the process. Definitely not the result that they would ideally want. They have two hooks, but for the most part, Cambodia have no issue at all bringing the fight to them. And now, boom, with the Bloodlust Axe, we'll be able to sustain even more in the early game fights. Mm -hmm. And we see that the Malaysians, they are struggling to secure those kills after getting the members of Cambodia low enough in those big fights. Yeah, and now, uh, Cambodia, I just feel that they know what they have to do in the early game. They know Malaysia is looking very, very, maybe I can say not strong enough to counter all of the damage that Cambodia have. So they have to play a little bit patient here from Malaysia. They try to make some space for Momo, especially Momo has been taken down once, right? So they need some space for Momo to at least get his item until he's ready for the team fight. Lutu getting poked down by the snipes from Leslie, but Iron Hook lands. And right Ooh. now the Malaysian trying to strike back with the real manipulation. Chiku picks up one kill, but the turtle will be taken by the Cambodians. Is that enough to make it worth it? We'll have to see because Tai is also being chased down and Chiku has some plans here. The Iron Hook does not land, but I think the Malaysians might make a play for the purple buff. Aggression all, or, all across the board right here. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, I think Chiku used his retribution just now. He did. Oh, okay. And yes, there's no retribution for both of the jungler because Cambodia, they secure their uh, turtle objective. And now Momo, he's, he need to focus. He needs to, you know, buying a lot of time to get Ooh, his item. Deja and though. maybe... He in with the electronic beats, but he gets taken now. Too aggressive. And Yums is still left for now as Deja goes in ignoring everyone else. Moon is running for his life, but he will be able to get out of that situation. Chiku just hovering around, threatening to engage with the Iron Hook, and Cambodia will be staved off, but only for now. Yeah, only for now. Now for me, it's one for the score. Battery 5 for two members here, none. And Electric Fire Blow pops up, but the damage from OP is just way too strong. And now, boom, dive too much, going into the turret in the mid lane. Oh, oh but look at that. That was a really a good point coming from Cambodia here. Yams down, and Chiku, I think he cannot do, do that much because Momo, finally, with the backups coming from Momo, at least it makes Moon can try to survive a little bit here. What an engage coming in from Boom on the lap lap, just going in very aggressively and even juking out, surprising the Malaysians with that flicker. That is insane. <laughs> Malaysia. Also the combo with the Braver Fighter, right? I, I, to think that in the beginning, Formis was able to get a huge Electro Final Blow yeah. with that Petrify. That really started off the fight in favor of the Malaysians, but the Cambodians, Suddenly. they just counter straight back. I agree with that. And it, it looks very strong for Cambodia, uh, especially in the first maybe 10 minutes. And OP, he got the really a good KDA 5 0 0 with a level 12 right now. If you compare to Momo, there's a uh, three level different gap. Three level difference. Definitely significant. But of course, OP is expected to be winning in this early game. The late game is where Momo is going to take over with that true damage, up to 2k. And mm -hmm. against the team of Cambodia, they are two fighters, so the true damage will be so, so useful if they can actually stall the game long enough because Cambodia is going for the Lord, will be free uncontested. And Malaysia, it seems like they are just trying their best to damage control. They finally secure a turret as well. Yeah, they maybe can try to, you know, uh, do a split plus strategy here for Momo. Especially, uh, they cannot can uh, they cannot contest the the first lord, but it's only the first lord. So Malaysia, they still uh, they should able to just knock it off very fast. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, 
I think Cambodia, they don't want to let, you know, they don't want to let this uh, Lord become a giveaway Lord. Well, on that note though, for me, very aggressive is here, still trying to make sure that he asserts the dominance. He threads the back line and oh, he also lands a hook. It's a stun on the tie, but it won't amount to much. Malaysians are a bit gunshot right now due to that gold difference. And Deja, as you can see, not a lot of counters available. Just moving in and out, and the Iron Hook does not land as the Cambodians will be able to take away one more turret from the Malaysians. Moving over to the mid side, where four Maze will be forced to retreat. Oh, okay, it's interesting because two turrets down in the top lane and also the mid lane and now lord is still going into the bottom lane it's gonna be a decessor for malaysia six turrets for cambodia meanwhile malaysia they are they are still having this uh, high ground defense that they're coming from eve but i think cambodia want to force the team fight here the Greer's passion will do so much damage but the real manipulation actually takes Ooh. out an op in the situation oh, wow. room gets taken out that's a shutdown for moon 3-0 oh, and 4 that is a Malaysian striking back with the high ground advantage. Cambodia, a bit too overzealous to end the game, losing two of, a ve of two very important members in the process. And now this is the momentum shift that the Malaysians have been waiting for. Gold difference reduced to only 2k. Oh, wow. Now Malaysia, they are trying to catch up all of the, uh, I can say maybe, this advantage that they have right now, right? With the 2k gold difference in the hand of Cambodia, Malaysia, they are refused. They refuse to give up. It's just the first, uh, the first game, yeah. And they have still have a chance, right? Oh, a lot of chance for this best of three series for Malaysia. And this is what they need. Momo need to be in the perfect position, right? Yes. Moon need to stay in the safe position as well. So these two combo between Momo and Moon, it should be work for Malaysia. If they lose Momo or Moon, I think it's gonna be a disaster because they only have Yam and Chiku as oh, a frontliner. Oh, Moon though is being targeted. Iron Hook does not land from Chiku. He is struggling to get the valuable pickups that he needs. The snipe though exposes the Cambodians, but the Malaysians will not be able to find a big fight. On that point, Momo, as you mentioned, when Deja can get into that back line, that is where they get so much Agreed. more benefit because Moon as well as Momo just can't have the space to operate to deal out that damage. Yeah, Malaysia really need to cover this Moon because we know how strong the real world manipulation. It's only a, su a suppressed ability that can shut the uh, ultimate down, right? Other than that, Moon will be so free using his real world manipulation. So it's gonna be a homework as well for Cambodia. But I, I think the second Lord, Malaysia, wants to try to take a chance to just contest it. Oh, he has rotated, but look at that. That's an engage Ooh. from the Cambodians. But the lockup from the Lord actually benefits the Malaysians. I like the final blow in the back line Lord. from Four Maze. And Moon does a lot of damage, but oh no, OP is still alive, doing a lot of damage. And that will be the Malaysians dropping one by one. Momo, the only one left as the Cambodians claim victory in that massive team fight. Uh oh, now Momo really needs to recall because look at that. The minion is going in into the base of Malaysia. Momo needs to clear as soon as possible because the three member from Cambodia seems they want to focus on the base. Zero seconds jumps will spawn and the waves will not reach the base in time. Now the Malaysians have a chance, but look at that damage onto Ooh. Momo. Bandit's Rage, there's just a lot of damage in the hands of OP that they cannot ignore. The Malaysians are able to survive, but that's for now. The Lord is marching down in the bottom lane as well. The Cambodians definitely want to make use of this huge momentum shift, and they might just be able to do it. But of course, the Malaysians are in their base. They have a chance here. Yeah, especially you bring this joy into the late game composition. Oh, I think it's not good for Malaysia. That's a concealed play from the Cambodians. They are trying to get a decisive fight, but they won't be able to find it as the Malaysians zone away. Ruin Malaysia is too far Yums. back in the back, and we can see that Yums gets taken out, and it's still a really back and forth situation, but the Cambodians are able to take out Yums, so there's no engage, no front line for the side of the Malaysians. Yeah, the ultimate type pops up going into the hand of OP, and now um, Cambodia, they are trying to force themselves going into the top lane here, trying to take the best turret of Malaysia, and they succeed. And now it's gonna be the next mid turret here, and it's gonna be the left. Uh, base threat for Malaysia. I think it's gonna be a disaster to look at that. The Phantom Saint pop up. Moon trying to survive here with a good positioning. The Ruo Manipulation pop up. At, I think Cambodia, they will take the game. Number one, RSG. Without any dub at all, I could say Joy is very, very strong.